E. Michael Jones, he did a – he's talked a lot about that. Like the whole concept of whiteness was – according to him, um, it was an invention by the slave traders, slave masters of the Anglo elite. Wow, he must have got that, that from me. Okay. <laughs> I was the first one to posit that. Well, I'm glad to know that such a uh, such a brilliant man is amongst my readers. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. You're supposed to be copied. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. That, that, it's there is no use of white as a racial noun before 1600 that I've been able to trace. And the dean of this subject, the man who wrote White Over Black. A history of these two races he starts his history when the idea of the white race begins which is around 1600 which is exactly when the dutch slave traders locked down the caribbean slave trade and most of that slave trade was trafficking scottish and irish rebels into barbados and jamaica and then it ended up also including shipping africans in there as well and uh The term white was a way that a non-Christian European who looked like his 10 men on his crew could make common calls with his Christian crew, which would be about 10 men. And then you got one to 400 slaves of various races underneath decks, Okay, some of whom might be Christian, some of whom might be heathen or might even be Muslim. You know, so... uh, the you know it's i think it was just a term that was defensive in nature that non-christian europeans would use to seek protection from their fellow slave traders who were christian europeans from christian european slaves and from heathen and islamic african slaves when there was an uprising because these crews were very small if those people below decks got a free hand you know, you're looking at 20 to 1 odds. Right. It's, it's really bad news. And half of your crew are unfree men themselves who might even have been brought from below decks to replace a, a crew member who fell overboard or got his head smashed by a, uh, by a pulley or block. Okay, so it, it's uh, our idea of race is a macrozoological invention of the 1600s that doesn't gain traction until the 1700s and is primarily economic. Uh, in the English language, the use of the term white as a racial no- noun does not begin to be used until the late 1600s and doesn't gain any type of general currency until the 1730s. Now, what happened in America between 1680 and 1740? What happened is almost all of the Africans that were ever brought to America were brought in that window in response to European slaves rising up and rebelling against the European slave masters. Um, So it's no accident that the term white and and the term black begin to be used in America during this window of time when people are being brought in by Africa, but from Africa, and it doesn't gain general currency until the revolution of the 1770s. And the term white instead of Christian does not gain currency until the 1820s and doesn't become the dominant term until the 1870s. Well, in the 1820s, America is finally totally independent. It won the second round of combat against England, against Britain. And and in fact, the term white uh, used by Europeans is very much like the English empire switching to use the term Britain when a large portion of their military began to be made up of Scottish, Welsh, Irish, and Cornish men who weren't English. So they switched to British as a blanket identity, even though they still practiced an English over Gaelic tyranny in their society. Uh, so even the, the term white has a more, or the term black has a more ancient uh, 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 semantic origin. 
but doesn't come into use as a racial, uh, as a common racial term until uh, the mid 1600s. Again, about the same period, the mid 1600s, uh, uh, you know, was a period when to have an African slave was uh, a demonstration of of very high wealth and status because they were so expensive because you, you had to get these people from a whole other continent from a different hemisphere or you know so from below the equator so it's and it's not until after this american civil war that the term white and black become the dominant terms uh for describing these very <coughs> large and heterogeneous groupings of people that are artificially grouped it's some kind of comic book race.